All right, so I'm out here at the 300 yard line uh, this morning with the B14 shooting some wolf uh, match target. Uh, and uh, I am shooting at some steel plates that are down there, a 12 inch, eight inch, six inch, four inch, three, two and a half, two, one and a half, and one, I believe. Uh, there's a total of nine uh, steel plates or circles down there. Uh, and I've got some uh, left to right wind here uh, this morning. Kestrel back here says that it's three miles an hour at the moment. Uh, and I put a couple of wind flags, caution tape up, one down there at about 150 yards uh, and another one in the bunker box itself down there. And Again, the reason I'm out here is because I'm going to play around with my SG Pulse a little bit more. And I thought it might be interesting to kind of do a demonstration of how uh, Cant uh, affects the, you know, the path of the bullet uh, and how imparting a bunch of Cant on the barrel or axis of the rifle, uh, what it does to the bullet downrange. And with these sand bunker boxes out here at the Dakota County Gun Club, uh, it'll really be easy to pick up on that uh, as a representation. So I will probably shoot and stay on the larger targets because with this now six mile an hour gust I've got, uh, I am not hitting any of those uh, minute of angle or sub minute angle targets down there. There's just no way. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is shoot a couple uh, on the larger targets uh, and just center up on it. And then I'll pick one of them and stick with it. And then I will shoot uh, maybe a magazine of five with a ton of right hand cant and five with a ton of left hand cant. And then I'm going to switch uh, the camera out back with my, uh, my actual cell phone that's got my SG app on it. And then I'm going to uh, do some video of that. So that'll give me that overlay graph uh, and give me some representative data and show you actually when I exaggerate the cant on it, how much in degrees uh, it is uh, affecting the axis of the barrel and what it's doing to the, the round down range. So anyway, uh, enough yapping, let's get snapping here. Go ahead and give this a rip. Got the chronograph up as well, because uh, I kind of want to see what this ammo does uh, through the B14. Uh, the other day when I was shooting it out of uh, the uh, the 417, I got some really decent uh, sub 10, you know, eight uh, 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 SDs on it, you know, 8.2 or something. So, uh, and because I got a ton of this, let's use this. All right, we'll start with the uh, 12 inch plate. Not sure where it hit it. I wanted to repaint these this morning. Uh, the can of white I brought with me out here, uh, nozzles froze up on it. It got cold last night. I left it in the truck, so that wasn't happening. Uh, so these plates are mostly all shot up. Uh, let's move over to the orange eight inch plate. All right, not sure where that one went. All right, I hit that. Let's move to the six inch orange plate up top. All right, I saw that it was to the right. I'm gonna hold left edge of the plate. And I hit it. And you can see that uh, caution tape that's in the bunker box is going right to left. But hopefully this camera behind is picking up on the uh, caution tape out at 150 that's actually wrapped itself around the uh, shepherd's hook I stuck in the ground there. Uh, but that is going left to right. So uh, let's shoot the rest of this magazine at that orange plate, the six inch. Wind changed on me, hold center plate. Uh, all right. All right. Now I'm going to shoot imparting a whole bunch of uh, cant to the right on that same plate.
Didn't see it. Now I do. It's going high and over where that caution tape's at. And this should be five. And now I'll impart a whole bunch of right hand cant. And again, this is exaggerated, obviously. So hopefully uh, the camera picked up on that. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is reload uh, my magazines and change the uh, phone out in the back so I can run the SG app and hopefully get uh, gather some data with that as well. Uh, that was a average of 1127 and the SD wasn't that great, a 14.2 over 20 shots. So uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I got the cell phone uh, with the SG app uh, hooked up to the downrange camera here, and we're gonna go ahead and do this again. Uh, I am gonna uh, shoot the 12-inch uh, plate uh, to start with, and I, I, you know, I might even just stay on that plate uh, and then uh, demonstrate the cant to the left and right of it. So anyway, here we go. Uh, okay, so no cant, 12-inch plate, Uh, you know what, I'm going to move over to the 8 inch plate. Uh, and the reason I did that is because when I impart the cant, I want the impacts to actually be inside the bunker box in the sand um, because there's a good chance that uh, the ones uh, when I put the left cant on it, there's a good chance that those will hit the wood on the left edge of it, not uh, in the, the sand. So, uh, so that's two out of 10. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, four shots with right cant on that eight inch plate. All right, so let's... All right, so... I'm not going to exaggerate the cant as much as I did uh, in the first portion of this. I believe that's, uh, no. So I must have done three and three. So let's go back to zero cant. And uh, let's go for the small six inch plate. All right, so there it is. I hope that picked up on it there, uh, and I hope it represents and shows something. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make a comment down below. Uh, as always, you all have a great day, and we'll see you at the range. All right, steel plates down at 300. Gear to still be laid out. Uh, ammo for today.